Hello, Scorpio. Thank you for tuning into my channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support. And I send it right back to you guys. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment if this reading resonates. With that being said, let's go ahead and see what messages are coming through for you guys at this time. Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity. What messages do you have for a sign of Scorpio? Please and thank you. Messages for a sign of Scorpio. So we have the King of Swords coming through. It looks like someone will be reaching out and have like, someone will be reaching out to you. So, and I'm getting that you'll be extremely um, thoughtful about whether you're going to, I guess, talk to this person or not. So you're trying to be very practical and logical about a particular situation. It looks like you sat on this for some time. Some of you guys may have been preparing for this person to reach out to you. I mean, your challenge is the will of fortune. And the only reason why the will of fortune will be your challenge is if you don't feel like something is meant to be, um, you may feel like something didn't work out and there's a reason why. So it's like you accepting the reason why something did not turn in your favor or there's a reason why something didn't work out here. Outcome is the tower. What's this tower leading to? The full, a new beginning. Advice is the chariot to go for something here. Ace of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. So if you work on something, it will uh, pay off for you. So some sort of shocking new beginning is going to end up taking place. What is this shocking new beginning? What is a shocking new beginning? A partnership, okay? I'm getting there's a partnership that's taking place. Quite possibly this is reconciliation because it involves someone reaching out to you. It doesn't have to be. This could be new love as well. But the energy uh, feels very familiar here because it's like you're expecting someone to reach out and communicate with you. And it looks like that's what's going to happen. But you want to make sure it's it's almost like I'm definitely getting that this is someone you have a lot of love for, or you've been thinking about this person for some time. Let me get more about this King of Swords energy. Because with the King of Swords, the King of Swords is all about knowledge. So this is a very familiar situation. This is someone that you feel like you know very well. Yes, this is a reconciliation. You and someone else deciding to work on something together. The both of you want to take time to get to know each other better. And one way or the other, I'm not getting that you are in a relationship with this person though. It looks like you just know them and the two of you are deciding. You could uh, run into this person at some sort of event. But it looks like two of you will take the time to get to know each other here. You could if you even decide to... I don't... Some of you guys may even decide to work on something with someone uh, business-wise. Like you could run into someone um, during some sort of like business meeting or something but i'm definitely getting you run into someone that you know you're familiar with this person this is someone that like the energy coming from you is that you know this person so when they reach out to have or they reach out to communicate with you it's like you know how to um handle this situation you're ready to communicate with this person or you're open to communicate with this person. I'm getting that you're a very honest individual, but it does look like you're about to start a new beginning with someone here. And this is like, the thing is, it's almost like 
you and someone else are you you and this other person could be a little stubborn and it's like the universe has to intervene in this situation in order it's like someone was afraid to take a leap of faith so it's like the universe gave you that nudge and there could be distance between you and this person but it looks like you're getting a nudge by the universe to go towards someone else or this person is being nudged by the universe to go towards you to take a leap of faith towards you so someone you know what i'm really getting the reason why the will of fortune is in your challenge position is like someone's been saying i'm just going to allow um destiny to handle this situation like if it's meant to be it'll be but in all actuality like you're meant to take action or they're meant to take action and it looks like someone has been leaving it up to the fates so it's almost like the universe like okay you want to leave it up to me and they nudge you off the cliff or they're nudging them off the cliff to take a leap of faith towards this uh, partnership here. So, I mean, your energy is that you are being advised to go for something here with the chariot energy. Some of y'all could be dealing with a cancer. And I mean, with the seven of pentacles and the ace of cups, it looks like things will be going very well. Now, it is going to require you guys to work on this. You know, this is not going to be um, an easy relationship. Not meaning that there is going to be a lot of difficulty within this connection. But they're definitely saying if you put the work towards uh, getting to know this person, it is going to pay off for you. You'll reap what you sow out of this situation. And that's a better way for me to put it is you'll reap what you sow. So some of y'all could feel like you've invested in relationships in the past and you did not get uh, what you wanted in return, you know. But with this situation, it looks like you will be getting what you want in return. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. Take things slow. It looks like this has been a long time coming anyways, but I'm definitely getting a very promising uh, situation between you and someone else here. So, some of y'all could uh, be dealing with the Libra. You could have some Libra placements as well. It's, they had the Chariot and the Knight of Pentacles come through, but it wasn't in that spot. So, some of y'all could be dealing with the Libra. But I'm definitely getting a situation where someone is being nudged towards the other person. It looks like, I mean, I am definitely getting that this is a faded connection. This is meant to be. So, but it's just... It's like you guys may be running into each other because um, neither one of you were reaching out to communicate with the other person. Some of y'all are dealing with a Libra because Libra had the same, like a similar uh, scenario. Some of y'all, it could be a childhood friend as well or someone that you've known for some time. Messages for the Scorpios who are in a relationship. Again. Some of y'all are definitely dealing with a Libra here. I'm going to put that back. Or someone has strong Libra placements. Knight of Pentacles. It looks like you're trying to be very supportive of this person during a difficult time. They want to apologize. So I'm I'm definitely getting that you're very understanding about something that your person is going through. Um, and even though like they realize that you're being very supportive, you're being very understanding. Um, and sympathetic towards something that they're ex currently experiencing. They also are acknowledging that their actions were uncalled for. Something that they did was uncalled for and they do want to apologize. They do feel remorseful about something that they, they did or said. Outcome. Give me one more. 
because the even though I'm getting that you are very supportive of this person, there's also this energy coming from you, Scorpio. If you see this person holding on to that coin, so you haven't given this person that coin. You're holding on to it. Either you pulled back or you you may have been um it's like you you you're taking things very slowly between you and this person and it's like they they went through something i'm getting like they're going through a difficult time and they're not presenting themselves in the best light and for that they are sorry but it's it's it triggered, I don't, it's, it's like you saw this as a red flag, but you're still being very supportive of this person. But at the same point, whatever you saw, you didn't like. So it's causing you to withdraw from this situation. I don't get that you'll end up staying with this person because whatever you saw within this person, you didn't like. And it caused you to question whether, because you're looking for a long-term relationship. So I don't, I'm getting that you're not seeing that within this person. It's like you're looking at them as someone who's emotionally immature and you don't like that. So, I mean, then here's your energy. We got the King of Cups coming through. Let me get one more for the King of Cups. Because I'm getting that you're going to release this situation, but you're going to handle it with care. So it's like you're ending this uh, connection, but you're trying to take the gentle approach here because you understand that they're going through a difficult time or there's just something here. Because I am getting that they're emotionally immature, but I definitely am getting ultimately it's a red flag and you don't like what you uh, see or you don't like what you've seen. So yeah, it looks like you're going to have some communication with this person. And I'm definitely getting it. It's like you're going to uh, be very compassionate towards this person when you have this communication. But you realize that you just have to be honest with them. And I'm not, I'm getting that you're basically letting them know that you don't see a future between you and this person. So it's like you're trying to let this person down easy. So. Either way, I definitely am getting that it's going to be difficult for them, but you just have to do what's best for you. Okay, messages regarding the Scorpios who are in separation from their person. Seven of Pentacles. Ace of Swords. How come it's the Four of Swords? Um... Your energy is coming through as the Seven of Pentacles. I'm getting that you put a lot of thought towards this situation. There is a part of you that would truly love to invest in this relationship between you and this person. Um, they're holding back on communication. They know that they they know that they need to communicate with you, but they're not. Ultimately, to be honest, Scorpio, what I see happening between you and this person is that neither one of you are going to reach out to the other person. You're both going to hold um, hold back on communicating with the other person, which is ultimately going to cause the ending of this relationship. The crazy part is I do get that the two of you have this great relationship, but it looks like you both have allowed your ego to get in the way. Um, which is, it's, it's like you guys are not, cause uh, I do see things could go far if, um, you guys were open to communicate with one another, but I'm not getting, it's like both of you are very stubborn and I don't see either one of you reaching out to the other person. So I ultimately, I see things coming to an official end. And quite possibly, you'll both view this connection as the one that got away. Like, you both see each other as the one that got away. But that's something I'm getting that you're both willing to accept. It may, like, sting from time to time, but I do see you guys moving on with your life. But I don't see this. I don't see you guys coming back together because you're both pretty stubborn, to be honest. 
Okay, messages for single Scorpios. So you have a lot on your plate. Um, it looks like you have a lot of work. Um, you guys may be going, working full time, going to school. Some of you guys may be single parents. But you're overwhelmed with all of your responsibilities. You have, some of y'all feel stressed out as well. It's hard for you to like bring things within balance because you don't feel like you have enough help and you have so much responsibilities here. So, the moon. Outcome is two of cups. Love it. And the temperance. I love it. I love it. Your life, there is renewal taking place in your life. I'm definitely getting that you guys are being guided towards the right person or you're just being guided towards a better life here. Um, I am definitely getting a partnership for you though, coming in. Someone that you're very uh, compatible with here. But they're wanting to reassure you, Scorpio, because I'm definitely getting someone who's been very overwhelmed lately with all the responsibilities that you have. And they're wanting to reassure you that that will be coming to an end. You will find peace and balance within your life. You won't be stressed out your entire life. Because I'm definitely getting that you've been working hard. You've been doing everything that you can. Everything within your power to bring things within balance. And it's about to take place for you. Like things are falling into place. Um, it's like finally you'll feel at peace. You'll be able, you'll be at this place where you can relax. You'll be comfortable and content. I don't get that you currently feel that way, but it's definitely coming. So your hard work is not in vain. Um, you are being heard. Your prayers are being heard. So don't feel like you are just uh, being left out in this wild world with no support. So things are coming into balance for you. Okay, messages regarding the person that Scorpio is crushing on. Messages regarding the person that Scorpio is crushing on. Four of Cups. So you feel rejected by this person. Some of y'all feel like you've made several attempts to make your feelings known to this person. Or you just don't feel like they're taking you serious. Or they've acknowledged your attempts. Eight of Wands. You can expect some um, all of a sudden communication from this person. So it looks like they may be noticing a change in your behavior uh, towards them. And yeah, some of y'all, there's uh, some form of communication that's taking place between you and this person. Quite possibly there's a distance between you, you and this person. Some of y'all could have met this person online. And it looks like, okay... I get it. I get it. Some of y'all, it looks like you've met someone online and there's been several attempts on your end to meet up with this person, to meet up with this person um, in person. And it's like quite possibly, because some of y'all may feel like you were being catfished by this person. I'm going to dive in a little deeper to make sure that you're not, I'm not necessarily getting that you are being catfished, but I am getting that there is a situation where you've made several attempts to meet up with this person in person, and they've come up with excuse after excuse after excuse. Um, Cause it looks like you've been chatting back and forth with them online. And I'm getting that because you're upset with the fact that this person continues to come up with excuses as to why you guys can't meet in person, or whenever you try, there's some sort of excuse and you have yet to meet this person in person. I do see the time is approaching for you guys to meet in person because the outcome is some sort of trouble taking place here. So I'm definitely getting that this person will try to make things right with you. But I want to make sure that this is not a scam. Because I don't like online connections, but... I've, I've seen some people, I have several friends uh, that have married someone that they met online and their connection it, it is, you know, it turned out perfect. So that's not the case. Sometimes online relationships turn out beautiful. I know several people that their online relationships have turned out beautiful, but then I also know some people that have been scammed. So you have to be cautious when it comes to dating online. So 
What's the most likely outcome? No, I do see it's, it's some travel taking place. Um, I do see that this person, they're honest about who they are. But I don't get, what I'm getting is that they're, they're really, um, I don't get that they, there's something about this person when it comes to, they don't like to be around people. So it's easier for them to talk online. Like it would be easier for them to text back and forth with someone versus talking to them on the phone. Now, I you should see this person. I'm, I'm, you should talk to them on the phone. And I will also say video chat. If they refuse to video chat with you and uh, give you comfort, like if you tell them, give you a thumbs up, like if you know, like make it very clear that you're talking to that person on the other end. Don't let them give you a two second uh, because people can scam you. They can give you a picture, uh, still a photo of or a video of someone, make it seem like they're that person through the video. So don't let someone scam you into thinking that a two-second video chat was actually them. No, make sure you get uh, a good five minutes at least where you guys are interacting back and forth. So, um, but there is something about this person where they don't like or they don't feel comfortable. Um, it's like they, you would think they have good communication. I, I'm getting that they're very intelligent, but they don't, I don't, it's like they come across very cold and distant. So they're, I'm not getting that they're the best communicator here, but I do see travel plans. Um, I do see either you traveling to see this person or them traveling to see you. So, I'm not getting that they're catfishing you, but I am getting that they're a little cold and distant when, when it comes to their communication. So they may be the type of person that fantasize about relationships, but when it comes to being in a relationship, um, it may just be easier for them to go back and forth online or through text than to actually see someone in person. What's the most likely outcome? Give me one more. Because it's, to be honest, it's, I do see you remaining single for some time, um, but it looks like you'll be doing very well on your own. Now, with this connection, I do see you and this person eventually meeting in person. I'm, I'm not getting that you're being catfish, but again, because this is not going to resonate for everyone. So if you feel like you're being scammed and someone refuses to video chat with you, talk to you on the phone, you're getting all the signs that you are being scammed, you are being scammed. If they ask you to send you money, you are being scammed. Don't fall for it. Like these scammers are insane. Don't be sending nobody pictures of yourself. Don't fall for it. Okay. It's been too many incidents. Um, but with this particular situation, I'm not getting that you are being catfish. So, let's see. Messages for new love. New love for Scorpio. Please and thank you. Nine of Cups. Renewal. Oh. So, you'll have several um, offers here in love. But to be honest, Scorpio, I, like I can't make it up. There's someone from the past that you do desire to uh, reconcile with. It looks like this person wants renewal within this connection as well. The outcome is that you are going to end up with someone from the past, someone in your past, someone that you miss and someone who misses you as well. So you'll have options, but you'll be choosing this person from the past. Okay, let's get a final message. Spiritual growth, communication, triangle, 
spray it on. like there's a particular situation between you and someone else and it looks like communication has been blocked between you and this person until either you saw maturity out of this person or they saw maturity out of you unless this was divinely orchestrated where the universe blocked communication or they allowed the two of you to go your separate ways in order for you guys to undergo this spiritual growth here i do see you and this person communicating here um I'm getting that you have options and you're being a little cold and distant towards this person. But I am getting that there's still a lot of love between you and this person. To be honest, I'm getting that someone will be setting themselves free of a past connection and going towards something new. You got money coming in as well. Someone courting you. You're going for a new love. There's someone new coming towards you that you'll be dating. This is your soulmate, someone that you'll feel very comfortable with. And it looks like you will receive communication from someone from the past. And the message that I'm getting is that, yes, this person has changed. There's a lot of growth within them or a lot of growth within their energy. But it's still, you still don't feel comfortable giving this another uh giving this person another chance to be in a relationship with you. I am getting that you were in a relationship with them. Quite possibly, they were someone you were married to and you guys got uh, got a divorce. But this is someone that you do have a lot of harsh feelings towards. Like you don't have great memories with this person. But I am definitely getting that you'll acknowledge they've made a lot of changes in their life. You will be proud of them, but not proud enough to go back uh not proud enough to be in relationship with them again. So, but you have a true love coming in in the form of a new person. Someone quite possibly that makes a decent amount of money as well. But that's the person I see that you'll end up being with. I don't see you going back to this person in this case. So, I'll leave this there. These are the messages that came through for you guys at this time. Please be sure to uh, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And leave a comment that's pretty impressed. But with that being said, you all take care.